I don't know Nepal cu culture. Uh, in Nepal too, yeah. Some they don't like, but. Uh, and you? I'm okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're working in very tourist. Uh, oh yeah. Tourist Actually, I'm mountain guide. Yeah. So then, um, for me it's okay. You, are used to you have, uh, yeah, you have good, but. Two socks. This is one my guide. Okay. One, He's one, from one, Nepal. One more? It was no. just me on a trip. He's giving me the boots and checking if I have enough warm socks. And I also got this suit. Oh, it was so amazing to see and hear the huskies for the first time. Look at the moon! It's full moon and clear skies. So cool! The dogs were super friendly. I was really surprised that all of them were just so excited to meet me. The guide is explaining to me and how it will work. Uh, dog. Yeah, they are super strong, so it's four, four dogs is enough. But uh, I can show you how to use the harness. Yes. And then if you like, you can try. Okay. Yeah. And <laughs> when the harness is finished, then we bring the dog here. Yes. And then we fix from uh, number one. Okay. Yeah. When uh, then this dog, uh, six dogs put finished there. Then you are sit there. <coughs> yes. And I'm here. I dive fast. And then. But <laughs> and we enter. And that moment was just so incredible because all of these fluffy huskies suddenly started to bombard us and jump on us. They were very jumpy and really excited and it was so overwhelming, but I loved it. Yay, yay, yay. Oh. Yay, yay. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my god, that's a big over. And the hour is actually, it's just 1 p.m. And look at how dark the sky is and the full moon. Oh, there's so... Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. More huskies coming out. <laughs> now we will have six dogs that will go with us, and we are trying to catch this one, and he just wouldn't wouldn't have it. <laughs> this is my team. These are the dogs. We're gonna have six dogs. This is my team. Now we are going to put the harness on each one of them. First he's showing me how to do it and then I'll do it myself. First you have to... This is the harness. Yes. And uh, here is a two big hole. And one is there and one is there. And this is always between the chest. <laughs> you have to hold uh, between your knees. Like this. And then... You have to from goes from here. This is all between the chest, okay? Yeah. Then like this. And then like this. 
and then both oh, 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 yeah, oh. legs are in. Yeah, oh, in. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. <laughs> now it's my turn. However, you know, he said uh, this dog was a leader, leader. But I was a bit afraid actually because she looked very serious and she was kind of tight. And I wasn't sure how she was going to react and I had to pick her up by force. So I, I was a bit doubtful, but I trusted, I trusted the guide. He said it was okay. Uh, she is a leader, so then she is more clever. Yeah, and then uh, oh no, yeah, no. Should I get yeah, yeah, up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up, 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 up. Oh. Yeah. yeah, now it's okay. Oh no, 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 no. 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 Okay, where? It's there. It's there. There and there. Left and right. Yeah, and another, yeah. <laughs> another one, one more. One more. Yeah. Okay. yeah, 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 there, there, yeah, same. I'm a little afraid of him because... No, no, she's, she's, uh, she's a leader, so... Well, then you have to release the wire. But that's why, because yeah. he's a leader and yeah. he seems a bit... Yeah, these two leaders, so... He seems a bit distant. Yeah. Like he's watching me. <laughs> so. Okay. Uh, yeah. Then color also out. Very tight. Oh, that one took longer. Sorry. No. Yeah. Now it's okay. Okay. No. Now finish it. Okay. Oh, they were so happy to leave. So excited. We are almost ready. Many people say it's an abuse to, to the animals, but I really saw them super happy. Look how excited they are. They really love doing this. They love running. <laughs> oh, this moment was so epic. Under the full moon, with the sound of these huskies in front of me. Every now and then we had to stop for the dogs to have some rest. And we go again and I really love the sound and the sound of them running. Here we are taking the break and the guy told me that I should maybe pet them, pet each one of them individually and uh, just to say hello to them, thank them. So that's what I'm doing. Now here there was too much snow actually for the sled, so I'm saying I offered to get off the sled and just walk behind. 
and we are back on the trail back. Unfortunately, I couldn't tape much because my batteries died and my cameras died. So, I had a limited battery time. Now here it is me riding it. The guide is sitting and this is me up there. I am riding and videoing at the same time. It was really cool. And the last goodbye to the fluffy, fluffy doggies. They are so lovely. I love them. I just got back. I have no words. It was so much better than I ever imagined. Just from the dogs themselves, how incredible they are and beautiful and friendly. From the guide, um, the guide was just so special, so special. He was actually from Nepal and so nice, showing me everything and teaching me everything. I actually, he was teaching me how to, how to operate the harness, how to take off the harness, put it on, and how to, how to do everything around the dogs. And I even actually, something I couldn't show you, but I actually was riding it for a long time. For a long time on the way back, we switched positions and I, I was riding. It's a bit blurry because actually that's another thing. Uh, <laughs> be really careful about your cameras and your phones and batteries. My batteries just died uh, because it was so cold. Minus 20 degrees, I think, uh, that the battery stopped working very fast. And the other battery that was fully charged didn't work. Didn't work. My phone stopped working. My other GoPro camera that I had also stopped working. So be really careful. Um, Try to have them inside the jacket, like near your body, so it's warm. Uh, I have no idea, but yeah. And try to get as many videos and pictures in the beginning of your trip, because the more you go, if you're walking on a going on a hiking five-hour trip, later on your battery probably will just disappear. Uh, so that's that. It was incredible. It's definitely recommended. I think I must say that was. If not the greatest moment of my life, one off for sure, but I, I'm, it's very close to the greatest moment of my life when I was on, when I was sitting in that cart and the full moon in front of us and the dogs running and the steam coming out of their mouths and darkness around me and the mountains on the horizon because with the full moon I could actually see something and we did see a little little tiny aurora northern light that's very 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 small I didn't even notice it but he he pointed out wow ah spectacular breathtaking the last evening walk for the day fingers are so cold they are falling out because I have two pairs of gloves and with my right hand I'm operating my camera so uh, they are freezing uh, I'm just like at the limit of the town where my guest house is I don't want to ver venture into the wilderness too much because actually my dog guide today said that last winter he saw a bear just 500 meters from the dog place. So no thank you, but it really draws me to continue walking. It's so beautiful, above all, silent. It's so bright, you can see the mountains around. It's wild. I wish I could see the aurora light because the sky is quite clear. Oh my god, it's, it's I'm speechless.
The water in my nose freezes. Wow, and my cheeks are so red. Tomorrow I have a five hour hike. It's called Arctic Silence. And it ends with a visit to the caves, ice caves. I'm very excited. The only thing I am a little worried are no, not bears, are my toes. Because, however, talking about bears, I do look around all the time. And, oh, I just saw a shooting star. Um, yeah, I am looking around for bears. I am not, I'm worried about my toes because I feel slightly, well, more than slightly cold in my toes. They are kind of like freezing, I would say. And I'm wearing two pairs of socks and I have been only walking for one hour. So, I don't know how it's going to be tomorrow, walking for five hours. Uh, let's see what happens. The sky is clear. I see some stars, but uh, no northern lights at the moment. Uh, okay, guys, I'm going back. I'm going to take a hot shower and relax a little bit. And then tomorrow, it's a new day of adventures in the Arctic. I'll see you soon. Good night. Wow, there is a reindeer. It's 3.30 in the morning and I see a reindeer. I thought it was a bear. Can you see it? Not sure it can be seen. It's there. Look at this. What is this? I can't even see it exactly, but I think I saw, I saw, oh um, my god, it's big, I saw, um, what's the horns, yeah, it's too big to be a, to be a bear, and it has, yeah, wow, I see that.